I am joined now from Colorado College, Jack McCormick, junior defender named Offensive Player of the Week for week number three. Jack, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's an honor. So talk to me a little bit about your performance. You factored in on all the goals that Colorado College scored this past weekend. What, what, how did you keep finding the ball? I just, I was really beneficial, or I, I benefited from a lot of my teammates' really good play and, um, you know, a couple lucky bounces went our way and, um, you know, just got on the end of a header in a corner uh, situation, which was big. And, um, yeah, a couple of assists, I just uh, really benefited from, you know, a couple of my teammates getting on the end of some of the balls that I played. So it was, you know, overall it was, you know, not all, not all me, it was my, it was my teammates. So um, good on them. Talk to me a little bit about the defense on this team as well. You guys only allowed one shot on goal this past weekend. What made the defense so effective? Yeah, we've been uh, we've been sort of building up from the beginning of the season. We got some young guys in there who um, played really well um, this weekend, and um, one of our you know we hadn't had a shutout until Friday against Shriner, and uh, that was one of our goals going into the weekend, and uh, you know allowing zero goals, and we did that, and um, sort of it was a, another team effort to to defend them, and um, again uh, against Trinity, I mean um, you know a goal, you know we never like to give up goals, but. Um, when you score three, it's not a big deal. So, um, yeah, we've we really come a long way since the beginning of the season, especially incorporating a, a lot of those young guys. Well, Jack, congratulations. And I want to shift now towards the take three segment where I'm just going to ask you three random questions and you give me the first answer that comes to your mind, okay? All right, yeah. All right, so my first question for you, this one's not too bad. Who do you think is the best dancer on the Tigers soccer team, and do you think you could beat them? Best dancer on uh, – um, I'd have to go with Trevor Houghton, um, the right back, and absolutely not. I do not think I could beat him. He's by far and away the best dancer. All right, my next question. What was your favorite cartoon show as a kid? Think back to those Nickelodeon days. What was your favorite show? Oh, man. Um, I was a big SpongeBob fan. I don't think there's an episode of SpongeBob I haven't seen, so um, I'd have to go with that. But there are, you know, countless, countless other ones that I, that I loved. So, but SpongeBob, probably for sure. All right, good deal. My last question for you now, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, if you could only have one plate of food, the exact same thing the rest of your life, what would it be? Wow, uh, that's a tough question. I would like to say some of my mom's cooking, but it'd have to be the, um, the mac and cheese from uh, Noodles and Company. By far the best mac and cheese I've ever had, and I could definitely eat that for the rest of my life. All right, Jack McCormick, Offensive Player of the Week for week number three. Jack, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much.